Forests are vital to humanity and habitat on this planet for the many benefits, services, and products that they provide, including oxygen, clean water, wildlife habitat, carbon sequestration, recreational opportunities, in addition to the thousands of products that are manufactured from trees. Ryan, as a company, has been around for almost 100 years. We operate biorefineries in the United States, Canada, and France, and we employ almost 2,500 employees. Ryan is an expert in cellulose chemistry and converting renewable trees into remarkable products. Innovation is a cornerstone of our culture. This includes creating new processes in our mill, continuously improving those, as well as developing new products with cellulose and our co-product streams. Most people are familiar with cardboard boxes or copy paper, but what we do here at RIAM is much more demanding. We go into specialty filtration, absorbent materials such as baby diapers, but then we also go into dissolving pulp application. So this is looking at cellulose acetate, which goes into LCD screens and cellulose-based plastics, cellulose ethers for pharmaceuticals and time-released. We also go into specialty applications, including sausage casings, run-flat tires, that's performed through the viscose process. Ryan's customers value our products as much for their high quality and performance enhancing attributes as for their sustainability. Ryan has a long history of customizing its products to meet our customers' ever-changing needs, as well as developing new products to address emerging societal needs. And we knew that using trees as their primary raw material, trees that are sustainably sourced from working forests. Working forests are forests that are actively managed to generate revenue from multiple sources including sustainably produced timber. Therefore, a working forest will remain a forest instead of being converted to other land uses such as agriculture or development. A new growth forest, right, younger forests, are going to grow faster than older trees. And when they grow faster, they're going to absorb or sequester more carbon out of the atmosphere than an older growth forest. If forests aren't actively managed through appropriate thinning and cutting cycles, then the forest becomes susceptible to fire damage or harmful insects, both of which would release the stored carbon back into the atmosphere. So when we harvest trees, the carbon stored in the cellulose fibers of our pulp and subsequently in our customers' products remain intact for as long as that product is a product. What BioFuture means to RIAM is leveraging what we have been doing well for nearly 100 years by investing to grow our current high purity sustainable products and lower our raw material usage and operational impact to the planet, accelerate R&D to identify, create, and commercialize new naturally based bioproducts, and seek opportunities to invest in new companies that have promising technologies. And when it comes to climate change, we've recently set an ambitious target to reduce our total greenhouse gas emissions 40% by 2030 against our 2020 baseline. We've also redesigned our capital approval process so that our employees are thinking not just about the financial impacts of a project, but also considering the environmental impacts such as energy, water, and emissions. Well, we have two research uh, centers, one in France and one in US, and they work closely to support uh, RIAM's uh, research and development uh, initiatives. As you know, a brilliant chemist, Lavoisier, said in chemistry, nothing is lost, nothing is created, everything is transformed. And this is clearly the principle of a biorefinery. Few people know that, in fact, we have sugars in wood. In our process, we are able to isolate and to ferment uh, this sugar to produce uh, bioethanol. We are calling uh, this bioethanol 2G. Second generation means ethanol derived from non-food-based material, which is an important factor when food scarcity is becoming a larger issue. The Tartas plant has been focused on maximizing the utilization of all parts of the wood for many years. Our target was to develop a circular economy. We decided to invest massively in a new bark boiler to produce the steam needed in our process and also to decrease the consumption of fossil fuel. In Ryan, the people are really uh, very important and uh, we are considering that we have to provide an healthy and safe environment for all the people working in our different operation. RIAM is very involved in the communities where we are located. Most of our biorefineries are located in rural communities like here in Jessup where we are the main employer 
So we really want to give back to those communities, help them to be sustainable. And with these rural communities, it's really important to reach out to the students. So with that, we bring the STEM club from the middle schools out here to the manufacturing facility. And we have rotations through different activities. And it just shows you that the next generation is coming. What does success look like for RIAM as it relates to sustainability? We'll continue pushing the envelope of what is possible in reducing our overall environmental impact, investing in our people, and ensuring a safe working environment. We will continue to pursue the best available technologies and ensure that our business decisions reflect environmental considerations. We only have this planet, and Ryan will continue to do its part to encourage more forest growth and continue to produce sustainable products from trees.